Hello, and welcome back to the round of 32. Today's bout is between Erwan Lepichu, the oldest and most experienced member of the French men's foil team, versus the defending Olympic champion in men's individual foil, Lei Sheng of China. This was another fun and interesting bout to watch. As always, links to the appropriate Who's Who videos and to the commentated bout on Google Drive are in the description. Now, it's time for the analysis. First of all, both of these fencers are lefties. As a lefty myself, I could tell you all about how annoying it is to fence another lefty. You'd think that fencers at this level have advanced beyond caring about that, but it does show somewhat. Both fencers tended to stick with the inside lines, which are much easier targets for lefty versus lefty fencing. Now, strategically, the differences between these two fencers were very clear. They were basically diametrically opposed. Lei is a pretty tall guy, and he likes to fence slowly and at a longer distance. Le Pichu is on the shorter side, and he likes to fence really fast and loose, and get right up in his opponent's grill. So, there are two axes here, distance and tempo. When both favored one fencer, the outcome was pretty one-sided. The struggle in this bout was who could control the in-between situations, long distance fast tempo and close distance slow tempo. In general, Le Pichu did a better job in these situations, which is a main reason why he won. He had a really deadly fast and long beat attack, and he was able to mitigate a lot of Lei's accuracy in the slower, closer situations. But it was also interesting to note how the two fencers almost traded one quality for another over the course of the bout. There was a moment where, due to Lepichu's predictability, Lei was able to seize control of the tempo and force it down to his ideal zone. Lepichu tried to fence at that tempo, but realized he couldn't, so instead he adjusted his distance to be much closer, optimizing his chances as best he could. Eventually, when the bout began to speed up again, Lei then started opening the distance more, giving himself as much benefit as he could. In the end, it was Lepichu's control of the tempo and distance that won him the bout with a score of 15 to 9. Lei also looked a bit off his game, and far from his peak form in 2012. It's a bit of a shame to see a former gold medalist out so early, but this was not really an upset. Lepichu was on fire at Rio, and he went on to have a great bout against Garrick Meinhardt in the round of 16. Thank you very much for watching, and feel free to discuss this bout in the comments. This video is already a bit delayed due to technical problems at the time of me recording this, but on the plus side, I'm already working on the next bout between Ghislain Perrier and Ma John Fei, so expect that one pretty soon after this one finally gets uploaded. Until then, stay sharp.